This guy's coming to see me, though. Don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> no, this guy likes you so much, he took his mask off when you got on stage. Oh, my God. Oh, he wants it. Yeah, because he wanted to smell your natural scent. <laughs> Hey, Scissor Siblings, come see me live this weekend in Des Moines, Iowa, then Lexington, Kentucky, then St. Petersburg, Florida, then Chicago, Illinois, then Los Angeles, California, Huntington Beach, Houston, Austin, and tickets just added to New York City for a special stand-up on the spot. I can't announce the lineup yet, but it is fire. Get tickets at jeremiahwatkins.com. Thank you so much for your support. Now let's get into this episode of Scissor Bros. How hard is the thing? I mean... You'll feel it. You'll feel it, but it won't it won't bruise you. So are we naked? <laughs> Scissor Brothers. a mansion for you in my heart there's a mansion for you in my heart mm-hmm. you can move in any time cause you already live there and I know you don't know where you're gonna live next and it's getting to your head it's getting in your head, friend. It's getting in your head. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Not talking through the harmonica, but with that sweet voice. Hey, I need a place to go. I don't know when the next rain's coming in. You don't know when the next rain is coming in. Yeah. So say hello, Zillow, find me a place to live. Oh, Zillow, oh, Zillow, I still haven't seen. at the end there (laughs) welcome to scissor bros your favorite adult (laughs) cartoon morning show brought to you on fridays and saturdays and sundays and mondays and tuesdays and wednesdays and thursdays and And, uh, this episode sponsored by (laughs) r o c k u s t a r rock star let's do it r O C K S T A R Rock Star. Forget about the Red Bull. Red Bull, man, forget about that Red Bull. They defunded us. Now it's time to get the real. Rock Star, man, will make that deal. Energy, a drink. To make you think better than you usually do. Rockstar. Woohoo! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Yo, that became like 80s hip hop there for a second. <laughs> Rockstar, it's the drink. Go and grab one, it'll help you think. Rockstar. Um How you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> I mean Can I tell you about the rain, man? I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say right now, at this particular moment, I'm doing better than you. <laughs> you asked me how I was doing. I'm not saying much. Yeah. I'm just saying <laughs> yeah. you came in. A, are there rings <laughs> below my eyes? A li- yeah, a little bit. Oh yeah. You came in with your Bruce Willis unbreakable look with the hood up. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, wandering yeah, in. Yeah. Oh, I just realized something. Think about it though. I want you to think about it. You are just like the character in Unbreakable because your weakness is water. All right, time stamped. I don't like that. I really didn't like that comment. <laughs> you didn't like that analysis? <laughs> Damn good movie, though. Oh, one of my favorites. Knock at the cabin. Did you see it? No. Is it out? You want to see it with me? Yeah, I'll see it with oh, you. I think I promised my girlfriend I'd watch it with her, though. <laughs> wow. I'm so sorry. And I'm now, sorry. I'm so sorry. You're doing better than me. <laughs> Um. So I was trying to sleep the other night. Uh, I've been getting an average of two to three hours of sleep. I thought I was going to um, go to the movie. Was stupid, man. <laughs> but we will see one. And then all of a sudden. Oh, I haven't seen Megan yet. He just said he's taking his girlfriend. No, but we'll see meet. Megan. We'll go see Megan. Yeah, Megan. Dude, it's getting good. It's getting great reviews, man. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. Megan. Yeah. I'm so sorry. We're gonna see something. Okay, it's just been a minute. And then it's Song Young Dong on me this time. Oh, really? See, that got you. Um, so I was trying to sleep the other night. You see this? You had a zit on your face or something? You're not going to cry, brother. I already did. No. Look. You didn't see the single so tear? So method acting pays off, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that pays off. Um, so I was sleep, trying to sleep the other night, and um, I already had all my, uh, you know, that last... We just had another burst of rain. I had four or five pots and pans already set up in my room. So I knew I had stickers on the ground. I knew where they're coming, you dropping. Put, you put stickers on the ground? Yeah. I put stickers <laughs> on. <laughs> Dude, don't laugh at my method. Okay. Right there. Okay. I had to do what I had to do. Right, Ryan? Yep. Thank you. The OCD uh, method works for you. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was all covered, right? And I'm like, okay, so if the rain comes and it gets any harder, the, the, these pots and pans are going to pick up the, um, the the drips. And so I was trying to watch something, and then I hear, tick, 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 tick. And I'm like, huh. Like, I have a fox here for that now at this point. Like, it's like paranoia. What's, like, the, what's the expression? Tick. No, no, no. What's a fox what? A fox, like the ear of a fox, like, you know. Is that an expression? No, I just made it up. We can edit that out. I can't tell if you're joking. Did you make that up? Yeah. Look it up. I don't think that Google fox ear. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if that was an expression that I I didn't know know about. I thought thought maybe a fox has good hearing. I don't know. Okay, well, I mean, they probably do because you know why? You don't really see a fox in public very often, do you? Exactly. That's why they they're probably they have good hearing. So I'm yeah. like, okay, there there's some uh, there's something else going on, and so uh, I look in the main room. There's on, there's not there's only one room where I live. Obviously, you've been there a million times. Mm-hmm. So I go, okay, I'm looking around. I'm looking at the ceiling, and I'm like, oh, it's not in here. And then I I go into the bathroom, and I hear it in there, tick, tick, and I got footage of it. Oh. Let's play it. So now there's, uh, this is my bathroom. The the leaks are coming through my bathroom. And this is, uh, I found the spot where I was coming, where it's coming from. Um, There you go. Just to tell me this is a new place that has never uh, leaked from. This is the bathroom. Other than that, how you doing, man? You doing you doing all right? You doing uh, good, man? Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm I'm breathing. 
That's good. <laughs> yeah, breathing and um, I lost a few pounds as well. I yeah, I lost about five pounds. Oh, okay, good for you. <laughs> um, how'd you do it? Just not eating. <laughs> Yeah, I've been, I haven't been eating. What's in your place right now to eat? Oh, that's a good question. Thanks for that. That was mindful. Um, I have pasta. I have uh, four slices of uh, cheese. Mm. Um, I have um, uh, a quarter uh, bag of jalapeno potato chips. Miss Vicky's? No, they're kettle, kettle something. Okay. Um, and then I have maybe four slices of bread, um, three pickles. Oh, you're making me hungry. <sighs> and uh, and that's it. Oh, I have frozen vegetables mm. in my um, in you're, my freezer. You're such Can a you're such a nice guy that if I came over, that you would offer me a cheese pickle frozen veggie sandwich. I mean, that's I mean, there's no protein in there, is there? I mean, after I mean, after all the after all the items I just listed, uh, there's there's not much protein, is there? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and not only that, uh, recently at the grocery store they had a scarcity of eggs. Did you notice that? No, Ryan. Did you notice that nope. it was hard to get eggs? Really? Like a week and a half ago. Now, I gotta ask: Is this a blanket statement? Where you're speaking for all the grocery stores? Yeah. Like, this is an actual news story? Yeah. Or was it just your grocery no, store? No, no, no. It was everywhere. That you went and you're like, no, there's they didn't. an egg shortage. No, no, no. It was at Target. Because <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, if yeah. you walked in and you're like, did you guys hear about the egg shortage? No. On Ralph's? On no. La Brea? It was like due to like spine flu or the some kind of thing. It was like a, a, like a little epidemic, I would say. It lasted maybe a week or something, but... Have you ever had milk in the raw? No, what is that? I guess it's straight from the udder, and, and they say that, like... like What's the udder? Is that the butthole? Sure is. I didn't know that. So they call a chicken's butthole a udder? Um, <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, dude, we need to get that out of... Yeah, timestamp that for real. Okay. Well, so, the only uh, reason why we would timestamp so that where the egg is comes so I could send that to your high school teacher and they can be sad when they yeah, watch it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I know this might sound kind of whatever, premature. Uh, does the egg come out of the udder? <laughs> uh, the ball, right? It pops. Like the, the goose that laid the golden egg, something like that. Okay. Guys, are you getting your anatomy from fairy tales? You son of a gun. I'm just saying. I do, Dude, I've never been around a chicken. Okay, first of all, an udder is not on a chicken. Well, it's not? That's no. not where milk comes from. An udder. It's like the boob of a cow. Oh, I didn't know that. You don't, you've never, the udder is the bottom of, you know, that's where the nipples are. That's the udder. That's what you called the udder? They were just tits. You've been for years looking at cows and going, look at the tits on that cow. Or the boobs or the nipples. You've been being like, hey, those, that cow's got big titties over there <laughs> big, rather than udders. Or cow boobs. So those are the udder? That's an udder? <laughs> I cannot tell Dude. if you're being serious. Cause... <laughs> no, I'm being serious. <laughs> Dude, can we just... um. This episode, the uh, um, the the times, uh, whatever the um, thumbnail, just have it like you know how like Shutter the horror um, thing, yeah, to have that lettering of Shutter but Utter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Utter, yeah. That's clever. Like I've that. never. You know what's weird? I've never been. I've never really seen a cow close up, like that. What do you mean? Meaning I've never been that close to a cow. I like. I guess you are from California. Yeah. I'm from Kansas, so I've seen cows up real close. Oh, is close. it real prevalent there? Yeah, man. I've never been to Kansas. Beef. So, uh, whenever the invite, is the invite still open? It's wide open. And I can still stay with your dad? Yeah. I think I might go back in July. You want to come with me in July? I want to stay for a while. Yeah. Can we? Can we possibly, in the future, could you move back to Kansas and fly back, like... What do you mean? I mean, just move, like, relocate there to Kansas. No. Now, what if I decided to do that and, like, live with your dad? 
Well, would you allow me to live with him? <laughs> so my dad would be stealing you away from me? Yeah, I mean, we could bro down and he could teach me how to play pool and show me a real cow. But who am I doing scissor bros with then? Ryan can fill in and just put a wick on. Oh, yeah. We look the same. I don't know, man. I just never been to Kansas, you know. Well, you yeah, you should come. And I know your mom wants to see me. I heard you guys are seeing other people now. I've been so nice to you. Your folks are the best. They they love you. Can I tell you something? Um, real really like something that got me a real bad mood is um. Before you do that, why don't we do some scissors? To lead <laughs> into okay, 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 okay. You no ready? problem. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, two, three, four, five. You can feel the six, better move washing seven, over you, can't you? Eight, nine, We're not talking about ten, leaks right now. 11, We're not talking about 12, the home 13, stuff. 14, 15, we did that. 16, and 17, And you know what? We felt 18, better that we talked 19, about it because that's 20, what friends do one, is they listen two, to each other. If you're a friend who's listening or watching Scissor Bros, how about you call up somebody and check on them? and 30. So I was at uh, Ralph's grocery store. And I was running low on my winter. I heard they have a shortage of eggs there. Dude, this is just <laughs> sorry, dude. You're you're quick on your feet. Um, so I was at, <laughs> let me let me let me restart. So I was at Ralph's grocery store, and I us, I was running low on my um, Grizzly Wintergreen Chew. And uh, what I what I usually do is I get my groceries and then those things are locked up, like all this tobacco products. So you have to get a a tenant. Don't tune out yet. I'm. Mean, there is a point to this because I can see, dude. I can see your eyes just going over here. There is going to be a point. Anytime and so, I look, and I'm not making direct eye contact yeah, with well, Steve. Well, I like eye contact. He takes it as I am not interested in his story. I literally. Do you know what I was doing when when I looked down for a second? Okay. So, um, did you hear my question? Yeah, yeah, What are yeah, you doing yeah. rubbing your face? What <laughs> just happened? That's OCD, baby. <laughs> so anyway. Um, did you hear my question, though? You didn't. Do you know where I went when I looked down for one second? In your mind? You call, yeah. Where'd you go in your mind? I was envisioning <laughs> the lady opening up the glass at the Ralphs that you're talking about. I'm literally with you, brother. I'm there with you in the story. Okay. My brain's back in here. Um, I apologize. Um, she goes, "No, we don't have that." I go, "I been, what, what do you mean? You I, I, can I just get a can of Grizzly Long Cut?" She goes, "They stopped. We stopped having it." I go, "What, what do you mean? I've been coming here. Are you sold out?" She goes, "You haven't heard?" I go, "No." She goes, "Oh, they have a law. No more." I go, "So this was a white lady?" Uh, no, she was Hispanic. Comprendes? I didn't know the tobacco, whatever, you know, and I, and then I was getting, a, I was like, oh, so in my mind, I'm like, she doesn't know what she's talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I go, then I'm like, cause it was annoying. And I'm like, I go to the gas station. Okay. So I go to the gas station. I go, Hey, can I get a can? The same lady turns around from behind the register. <laughs> you didn't you hear? Haven't heard? <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be an episode of the Twilight Zone. Yes. Okay. Um, have you seen that Twilight Zone, the hitchhiker where they keep seeing the same person on the, no, uh, but it's kind of like that. The same person keeps showing up wherever this person is going to. Did you ever watch Goosebumps? Again, we're on the same. It. Yeah, I was, man. Hoping, I was yeah. hoping you'd have seen. There was this episode where uh, they uh, this girl was in, like in this weird like uh, state. I think it was Goosebumps. I don't think it was. Yeah, uh, where she was selling lemonade and everybody loved her lemonade in this like alternate like reality. And yeah. these pigs. Uh, uh, basically she turned into a pig, I think, because she was greedy with, where she started selling one cup and having eight cups from behind there. She started selling them for like a hundred dollars a cup. And then when of they would, lemonade? Uh -huh, and then when they would leave, she'd pour more and put one out for supply and demand kind of thing. Right. And then she turned into a greedy pig, uh, and like had hooves and like, like a, a, a oh, this is, sounds like my kind of show. Is this like a twilight zone type show? For kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As and a kid. They made it for kids? It was a horror show for kids. 
That's it's a book just, series and then dude, it became a television series. that sounds wrong on so many different levels, my friend. You're dressed like a Goosebumps character today. What do you mean? I mean, you literally dress like one of the kids on on the Goosebumps. You're wearing really? tie dye and like a like a. This like is a, my first tie dye shirt. Oh, I like it. What does yeah. it say? Is this for real? <laughs> this is uh, Koreatown Oddities' second album. I had him as a guest. Okay. The other night, and this is his second album, and, and it's and, a peace sign too. Yeah, and you know what's unique about his merch is every single item, t-shirt, sweatshirt is just one of a kind. That's cool. You if know you what I'm saying? You can put that kind of love into yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. Time so and, yeah. So anyway, I'm at the gas station. Same guy. This uh, attendant's like, N -n -n we don't. Ha and I was looking around over the counter, and they only had the plain one. You know, like the just two two available. The ones I don't like. Right. So I go. Oh, there's something going on here. Same thing. We don't have it. Then I go to. Then I'm like, they gotta have it at Seven Eleven. I mean, I've been going there for decades. They gotta have it there. That's their new slogan. Did you hear about that? What? They gotta have it at 7-Eleven. 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 They gotta have it You better there. believe it. They gotta Come have on, it. Come on, we have taquitos uh, at 3 in the morning. They hey, gotta Paulie. have it at 7-Eleven. Did they got it or they got it, Paulie? They got it. They got it at 7-Eleven. Um, and it's the same thing. I go to 7-Eleven. There's only like one or two of the plain ones. And I'm like, and then I, I kind of like, it wasn't an outburst, but I go, what's going on, man? I, you, you guys are sold out? What's going on? Like, I, I've been coming here for a long time. You don't have any kind of wintergreen chewing tobacco? No, bro. I, I mean, I went to three. He goes, the same thing. There's a lot that there's something past the thing where they don't have, I, have it. And so, I was, dude, I stormed out of there because I, I, I just wanted a can of, of wintergreen chew, man. A grizzly, Copenhagen, whatever you got, Kodiak, they don't have nothing, nothing. So I look online. There's a law. They passed a law in California where there's they there, no flavored anything. So you can't get flavored tobacco, no menthol cigarettes, the vapes, the no flavored vapes. They passed a law. None of it. Too many so kids were getting into them, huh? Yes, exactly. So now I'm doing this. What is that? Everything they have is just plain now. There's are no you, flavors. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're getting <laughs> really worked up. I haven't seen you this upset in a while. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then I'll, when I'll you said, I'll, I'll, I'll lower it down and a then, couple And more. then when you said it was just plain, there yeah. was such, your voice cracked in just this sad way where you're just like, give me a win on something, coach. You know what it is? I, I'll be I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. That's what we do here in Scissor I, I quit. Okay. I quit drugs and alcohol, That and that was my last vice. It's kind of like, can I give you an analogy? Mm -hmm. You love Taco Bell. I know you do. Yeah. Imagine going to the drive-thru of Taco Bell and all your favorite items, though, your go-tos that you rely on for years. We don't have that no more. You're like, what do you mean? I just ordered it like last month. They were closed on Christmas and I kind of went through that. No, but I'm saying I tried indefin to, indefinitely. I know, but... I had, you know, I tried to go there on Christmas because I wanted Taco Bell on Christmas closed. Yeah. So but, I, I can, but what if I can in, relate. But what if, no, what if indefinitely they got rid of all the items that you, you, you. Every item Every Taco item Bell, you love. Every item you love that I you rely on. Very, very upset. That's what I'm going through, brother. I'm going through that. That's what I'm going through. You know what this tastes like? Nothing. It tastes like plain, like a cloud that they sprinkled Splenda, maybe from the heavens, two drops of Splenda, and it gets into a pouch, and like, I, I think there's maybe flavor in it. I don't know. Is that going to get you to quit then, since it's not good anymore? I don't like where this is going. No, I'm just saying, if you don't like the taste anymore, then why do you, you just like the tobacco then, right? You know what? I think the right way to look at it is maybe it'll make, Maybe this will make me quit everything. I mean, that's up to you. It's just whatever you want. I'm just saying, if you don't like the taste anymore, because you like would salivate over the wintergreen, and if it doesn't exist anymore, do you like the plain enough to keep dipping? Yeah, and I've also thought about this. Is huh. Okay, since they sell the regular Copenhagen, what if I 
come up with my own recipe like at the grocery store and I buy mint flavoring or something and I squeeze it into the the, the tobacco and, so and so, like your... spearmint like I'm willing to go all, I'm willing to be do you know what you're pitching me what that... like a it's like cooking everyone has their own method this is like a new you're recipe you're literally going to become the Walter White <sighs> Yeah. Of dipping tobacco? Yeah. Or you're going to start selling it to people in the streets no, and stuff? No, 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 no. There's no distribution here. This is only personal use here. Hmm? There's no distribution involved here. This is for me so I can enjoy the last vice that I'm holding on to is uh, is uh, chewing tobacco. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I was thinking about that. Oh, God, I lost my train of thought there. But, um. yeah. So, going back to the slot, I understand, and you're, you're completely you hit it on the bullseye. Um, it's for kids because kids are like vaping, watermelon vape, yeah. or menthol cigarettes. But dude, I'm in my 40s. If you do a lot, do it for I I what you have to make just discontinue. There's other walks of life out there that happen to be older than teens smoking. You know, at their schools in class. Or, like I need my grizzly wintergreen chew. What if we lived in a society where they outlawed? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good what, one. What? I mean, what would you do? How'd you handle what, what, that? Just I can't. Is it once a month? No, no. You're not allowed to do it anymore. It's discontinued. Well, there'll be a lot more crimes. <laughs> As you say it in that jacket, <laughs> there'll be a lot more crimes. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Why? When. That builds up in your nutsack, dude. That's why dudes they they do push ups and man, and they work out they, all that testosterone. You need that release, brother. Mm. You need the release, right, Ryan? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what a reaction! I played basketball on Tuesday. It was helpful. How's that going? I mean, you're you're real good, huh? Mm, I'm. You're competitive. I'm yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good. Don't be modest, dude. You're you're you because you're doing that. You're like you're like that with your pool playing too. Yeah. You, you, the the same it was you talked about in the same manner. Like I'm okay, yeah. and then when it comes to it, boom, boom, making all your shots. I'd rather let the talk and be done on the court. <laughs> huh? It's so evident how much you care about I it. I love it. I love. What? It. Okay, okay. So let me let me play I devil's advocate. Love it. What do you like about? You know Street how you hoops. watch wrestling videos on YouTube? All the time. My Facebook and Instagram algorithm have been wrapped in a certain way. I see so many basketball highlights from Michael Jordan's era, LeBron, stats, fan pages, different stuff like that because it keeps feeding it to me and it keeps catching me looking at it. Larry Bird stuff, Dirk Nowitzki, like all like... Dude, you're into it that hard? I like the highlights a lot. I don't, current yeah. basketball, I I'm, you know, I, I follow it very loosely. I'm not mad at, I'm not mad about the shoes anymore. Thanks, man. Can you play basketball in those shoes? No, I cannot. They look like basketball shoes. Um mm, I could I mean, I could get away with them. Th these are better than than some shoes for sure to play. Let me ask you this cuz I know nothing about basketball. Yeah. Is there, you know, like in skateboarding, there's certain shoes like, oh, those are the Nike SBs or those oh, are this. Yeah, yeah. Are there certain basketball shoes that are like top of the line that like, let's say you were to watch, a, a, like, like you show up to your next game and you see one player wearing a pair and you're like, oh, how did he get those? Uh, I don't know because um, some shoes are more meant for like a lot of the Jordans are not really meant to be played in. They're more like collectibles. They're more like styled. Really? Like fashion statements. Oh, it's so like, like a I sign have, of like, wealth. Like, hey, I got. It's like a Lamborghini. Like, yeah, hey, check out like, my. Yeah, I don't think a lot of those are meant to be really to be played in. Right. Like I, like I have. What do you wear? I mean, that's I probably a, a better question. What do pair, you wear? I have a pair of performance Jordans. What's that? The, what's the difference? I don't. They're know. meant for playing in. Oh. They yeah, and they're great. Is that what you wear day like when you play? Still? I only wear those shoes when I go to play. Yeah. I don't wear them like around town and stuff like that. Then let me ask you this, because I, I love the, the, the movie Hoosiers with Gene Hackman. I love that movie. See? But that's a movie. That's just a movie. 
How good was that movie, though? I know, but I'm just saying, like, I've seen some of your movies. Dennis Hopper. Yeah. Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman. He's phenomenal. How is it? Is it now, are they, did they really wear those Chuck Chucks? Of course they did, yeah. Because I'm sure there was a lot of rolled ankles back in those Probably, days. Probably, yeah. Because, I mean, that's what they wore, just those black thin, Chucks. Thin, thin. No ankle support. Yeah, just that cloth on the sides. Yeah. yeah. So would you say, because I was, um, Shout out to Andrew Nicholas. We love him. We were at the prom, uh, not the prom, but the Grove, and, and we went into the Nike store, mm-hmm. and then I kept seeing this LeBron shoe oh, in the I basketball. Mean, Is that top of the line? Probably right now. I mean, it, but why? What's preventing you from? Oh, I know, already know that. Sorry, answered that. Frugal brothers strike, strike again. again. <laughs> Frugal, Frugal brothers, brothers strike, strike again. again. <laughs> Hey, Dale, I haven't had a cell phone for about six months, man. You got any other options for me? Well, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill, yeah, Cletus? Dang, you're right. Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. Make it save your money by switching to Mint, the easiest New Year's resolution to complete. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Love your current phone? No problem. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just about just uh, 15 bucks a month uh-huh. and get the plan shipped to your door for a free Go to Dota. mintmobile.com right. slash scissorbros. That's mintmobile.com slash scissorbros. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com mintmobile. slash scissorbros. That's cheaper than a six-pack of Miller High Life, my friend. I mean, that's cheaper than, you know, a couple cans of dip. You better believe it. Mint Mobile. Mint <laughs> Mobile. Let's get them done, man. Let's go, let's go to the bar, man. You want some sarsaparilla yeah. on me? Mint Mobile. Wow, man. You wouldn't happen to have an extra jersey, would you? Sorry, I'm fresh out. The NFL playoff action continues. We're one step closer to Super Bowl 57. And for the NFL division round, check out DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. New customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly. You know what? I'm repping the Chiefs, so you know that I think that they're going all the way, and I'm betting big with DraftKings. You better believe it. Go Chiefs! Plus, all the new and existing customers can take a shot at an, an even, even bigger, bigger payout, payout with DraftKings stepped up same game parlays. <laughs> Boost your NFL winnings with each leg. You add up to 100%. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code SCISSOR. New customers can bet $5 on the NFL Divisional Round and get 200 in free bets instantly. Only a DraftKings Sportsbook with promo code SCISSOR. Yeah. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. That's promo code SCISSOR. DraftKings. Draft Kansas City. Chiefs. Chiefs. And when you want to go big, DraftKings. Better believe when it. You want to go to the end zone? DraftKings. Draft and you when you want to bet with friends? DraftKings. Draft and you when you want to seal a brotherhood? DraftKings. Draft Can I stay over tonight? Absolutely. Let's get the sleeping bag ready. DraftKings. Draft hey, mister. What is it, young boy? I'm a scissor sibling, and uh, I heard from the grapevine that Steve shit in his pants and diarrhea everywhere, and I can't seem to find it on YouTube. Well, we can't show that nonsense on YouTube, now can we? The only place for that nonsense is on patreon.com slash scissorbros. Are you serious? I'm serious. You will see Steve diarying in his pants at patreon.com slash scissorbros. So are you telling me you get the exclusive content? 
on patreon.com slash scissor bros. Every week there's a bonus episode of scissor bros for as little as five dollars a month uncensored at patreon.com slash scissor bros. So that means you get the meat and potatoes. And also a little bit of dessert. High five. Pa- I'm signing up today, man. Patreon.com slash scissor bros. <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> and again. Well, can I ask you one last, qu- one last question? Yeah, yeah. What's the most money you're willing to pay for a top of the, a line, top of the line basketball shoe? I spent $120 on these Performance Jordans, and it was very difficult for me. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. Okay, Jeremiah, this is an investment. And you went to the Nike store. No, I went to... Uh, I forget where. So wh- before you're cashing out... Were you, were you, was, I started to sweat. <laughs> you know, your credit card's here like, and you're like this. I was like, I was, I was like, I was at the register. I was like, are they going to tell me this is declined? <laughs> so that is an investment for you. For me, yeah, yeah. 120 for most people is like, that's just a shoe for a lot of people. Okay, well, what about this? What's the lowest you could pay for a basketball shoe, but that's a decent shoe that'll get you by? Uh, probably 60 or 80. If you're planning on actually like hooping in them, yeah. you got to spend at least, that's how I look at it is like, you're jumping in these and like, you're, you're, you're also, you want good shoes so you don't get hurt. So you don't like, if they don't have good traction. You could slide. Yeah, you could slip, fall. What's the cheapest known basketball shoe you could possibly get okay there's this hood video like uh like on uh they play it on like world star i don't know who this account is but shout out to this dude this dude makes me laugh so freaking hard uh he pulls up to guys in the hood with his cell phone oh and- the professor no 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 oh. but th- oh i'm i'm interesting that you know that but we'll get to that in a oh, second okay, okay okay uh he pulls up to dudes in the hood who have fake Jordans on? Ryan, have you ever seen that, yeah, that yeah, dude? Yeah, yeah. Dude. Wait, wait, wait. There's fake Jordans? There's a bunch of knockoff companies. There's a bunch of knockoff they, companies. They have the Jordan logo? They have a Jordan variation of the logo. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of like, you know, like the classic, yeah. like Michael Jordan extending for, yeah. the, the, for the dunk, <laughs> there's this one His elbows where a dude's in. just like, it's just like this random basketball pose where he's doing this. Yeah. And he goes, he goes, hey, hey. Hey, young sir. Hey, young sir. What in the... What is that? Jordan never did that move. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, dude. He so does, he's clowning the he people He clowns with, people who roll fake. up to strangers who have fake Jordans or knockoff shoes in the hood, and he just starts roasting them, and he's like, ow, oh, I've never seen this logo in my life. Dude, it's so funny. How does it make the people feel? It never shows their faces. It's just all on the shoe. Oh, it's all on the shoe. <laughs> it's so funny. And this is this funny black dude who's just calling people out. Would if you're one of those dudes, how would that make you feel? I would be so embarrassed. When you walk off the court and say, "Hey, I'm I'm done for it's today." It's people like in public though that are like riding bikes and stuff. Oh, really? they're not even playing basketball. And they're, they're just walking fake. around in public. So there's people that don't play basketball with knockoff it's Jordans. Been, yeah, dude. They're, so like at Walmart and Costco and different places like that, they've got shoe companies that are like whether it's like China or Bangladesh or wherever, like so, uh, from some random country. Indonesia, uh, where they will send over their variations of it so they don't get sued. It won't be the actual Jordan logo, yeah, yeah. but it'll be something that's really close to it. So then people buy it and, you know, like families will bring their kids these shoes and then their kids will be disappointed because they're like, that's not a real Jordan. Where can I? I had an idea for our next live event. Mm-hmm. Let's both get pairs of knockoff Jordans. That'd be fun. You're into it? Yeah. And then we could kind of talk about it on stage. Yeah. Hey, yeah. we got our new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> this will probably be 20 or 30 bucks. No, because I'm interested in this now. You got you captured my interest. Do they sell the knockoff Jordan t-shirt? Uh, I'm sure they do somewhere. So, okay, let's do this. Let's have like track pants on. But it's all knockoffs? Everything is knockoffs. <laughs> Dude. Does this exist? Does someone have the knockoff Jordan logo, like a tattoo of the knockoff Jordan? That, I don't know. 
Dude, that would be That'd pretty be, gangster, yeah, dude. Yeah, it would be. To purposely yeah. get a knockoff. Because that, that means that person has a lot of confidence. Yeah, of yeah. course they do. Um, yeah, Hoosiers is, was a great movie. Well, I was talking to Whitney Cummings because she yeah. posted a, a, a basketball video recently of her shooting a bunch of bricks uh, <laughs> into a basketball. Goal. And how's your shot? Uh, my shot on Tuesday was was good for the first couple of games, and then I got tired and fatigued, and it started ooh, dropping off. Gotcha. Um, but first couple of games, uh, I think I had a double double the first couple of, uh, games. I don't know what that is. So basically, it's like um, it's like getting over ten points in the double digits. Yeah. Of uh, points and then rebounds. So I had like oh. over ten points and over ten rebounds. That's like a double double. Are you double. good? I. I have never seen you play. Can I, can I just guess that you you could re, you're good at rebounding? Rebounding is one of my skills. Yes, it is. Yeah, What's I'm a good the... team player in that regard. Right. I'm not, I might not be like like the best like like at scoring. Yeah, I'm, I like I attribute myself and he, he he's my guy. I love Rodman. I love the Rodman mentality. Dennis. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Because I got that right. Right. Dennis. Um, so other than getting tripped up that one time where it scarred up your body. Yeah. Um, Thanks what's for the, bringing that up. Uh, Still got this moment right here. I was there with him, man. I was oh, in, I know. You saw. I was in the car when you were trying to heal it up. Oh, you kept um, touching me. I was like, oh, God. Oh, Steve keeps being a toucher in the car. <laughs> yeah, you remember outside McDonald's? You're like, Steve, uh, I'm like, Steve, I love you, you, dude. Can you please not touch me there? The wound is still fresh. <laughs> um, What's the worst thing other than tripping someone up that you could do on a basketball court that's the cheapest low blow? I mean, the cheapest low blow like on the court? Can I guess? Mm. What? Throwing bows? Yeah. Do people throw elbows? Well, yeah, I play down low, so it's a lot of that. That happens a lot. What does that mean? I don't know these terms. What does down low mean? Oh, sorry. Close to the hoop. Oh, close to the gotcha. goal, like underneath. That's so. Down there's low. lingo. There's basketball lingo. Uh, yeah, I say it. So like, I'm not even. I'm not trying. I'm just like, that's just what. So yeah, yeah there is. There is. So why is it down low that they throw elbows? Because it's underneath. So at the top of the court, you know, that's like half court. Okay. You know, half court. Then down low would be yeah. lower down the court. Oh, because they want the rebound. Yeah. So they're like. I mean, I, I literally I got a bloody lip on Tuesday when I played. Someone did that. Yeah, when I was going for a rebound, I got caught with an elbow. No, but that wasn't intentional, was no, it? No, 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 no. That wasn't. Intentional. No, but what I'm asking are there players that do that intentionally? Yeah, I mean, there's people who play dirty all the time. What's the throwing so elbows, that's the, lowering their shoulder when they try to drive? So that yeah, so, yeah. Has I would like to see this on a in a game. Has anyone just completely just snapped and just start throwing punches? <laughs> Uh, that happens more in hockey, but every once in a while, uh, I mean, have you ever heard of the ESPN 30 for 30 series? No. I love that series and I love doc it's documentaries based around basketball, but they, they paint the story and the narrative really well. You're really into it. You watch documentaries about this stuff. I mean, yeah. Okay. Keep going. I just watched Shaq's documentary. I was like a three part, uh, HBO documentary series. It's really good. <laughs> you find this so entertaining. You know what? You found out that I read last episode, <laughs> yeah, and then no, and then I watched this, documentaries I about can't, basketball. You just played recreationally. I didn't think that, that you looked this shit up. Like, read books on it. I want seen documentaries on well, it. You know, you watched Larry Bird and James Worthy documentaries. Well, I would okay. For example, I would love. I'm not going to force him into it, but like, I would love if my son played basketball because I would get to live more basketball with him i'd love it you really i would love for him to play and i'd love for him to be good so that's the one sport you would like your son to yes. excel in yes really a thousand percent more than football he's not gonna play football because of concussions yeah, yeah. um what my if wife is very she's just <laughs> not she's like she's like any sport but football like, okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna do a scenario don't oh. don't take offense to this i just thought of it what but don't i want just 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 settle down oh boy okay so what if after dinner um you know before um your son's bedtime you see him prancing around like doing like 360s but like on his toes and then later in life he's like he wants to be a ballerina mm -hmm. would you would you support that yeah if you wanted to do that <laughs> really yeah i wouldn't i, I i'm not gonna be like i'm be like you know, 
Oh, you play. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> you would really. I would, yeah. Over basketball, though? No. I Of course, yeah. I'd be like, have you played with this basketball yet? <laughs> but if you wanted to be a ballerina, I'd be like, all right, when's your recital? I'll okay, go. so now I'm, I'm going to give you another <laughs> scenario, right? I'm sorry, dude. Did you he, love these dad I, tests yeah, with me, bro. I, I just, you love the dad tests. These things popping in my head, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Um, what if he goes, Dad, I can't make a decision. I, I either want to be a ballerina or uh, a figure skater. Which one should I choose, Dad? I'd say ballerina. It's going to be less expensive. <laughs> If it's between the two, you have yeah. to buy equipment. You have to rent out time. Yeah. But ballerina, I don't know how expensive being a ballerina is. It's probably somewhat expensive too. Well, you got the schooling, the schooling and everything. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about this? Ballerina or gymnastics? Because, mm. dude, dumb dudes are buff. I would say gymnastics. You could. I mean, you could. Dude, par- they you could, are. You could cut. also parlay that into basketball. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps going back to I, basketball. I mean, you know, you know, you get strong, you know, yeah. maybe he's, you know. All right, let's bring it back to like the just more, uh, you know, traditional sports. Uh, what if he goes, Dad, I love baseball. I don't like basketball. Yeah. Then I'll Can be you like, get me the new, what are the, uh, the new glove? Mill- yeah, you know, yeah, that. Yeah. I need a new Louisville Slugger. I need yeah. a new Eaton, whatever. Would you let your son wrestle? Uh, wrestle. Wrestling. I thought you said baseball. Sorry. No, I said baseball first, but now I'm bringing it to wrestling. Oh, man. Sorry. I just had a flashback to baseball face, man. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, let's not. Don't say his name too many Do times. Do not say it three times. Yeah, otherwise, he will yeah, appear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so let's anyway, would I let my son wrestle? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be a little bit worried about his ears, but that's about it. So if ha- well, what about j- either jujitsu or wrestling? I think they both have good. Uh, I mean, what I like about sports in general is you learn a lot of discipline and, and motivation and commitment. That's what I like. Even if you never become good at those things, you learn about that process, and I think it applies to a lot of other things in life. There's that dad talk again. I love it. Um, later in life, because, yeah. dude, y- 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 your son's going to be... He might be a thick kid. He's going to be a big dude. Yeah, yeah. What if he goes, Dad... And like He's like 20-something years old now. Dad, I just want to sign with the UFC and like he's training to be to do ultimate fighting what do you think about that I mean like okay but be careful <laughs> <laughs> okay if that's what you want to do now would it be hard for you to watch him get beat up <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, if my son was getting it handed to him, it would take everything in me to not jump into the, the so ring. So would you be one of the, one of because like every That's year my son Yeah. Well every year at the NCAA a division one um you know championships, you you know, it, whoever the winner is in each weight division, they they, they, they kinda pan into them hugging their parents. Yeah. Like would you be one of those parents like if it was a combat sport? Like would you be kinda like covering your eyes like this, like I over? think it'd be hard to watch that that kind would of thing. You, I think it'd be pretty hard to watch. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah, because but somebody who who you love you and you raise that like is getting it handed to them. That's why those Rocky movies, Adrian's going crazy because Rocky. Oh, because she can't even watch him yeah. fight. Yeah. Because in Rocky one, she was in the in the the room in the locker room, right? Yeah. And then the other ones, it, you know, that's interesting because the other ones she slowly kind of makes her way to the ring, but never like. You know, like ringside. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting, man. That's yeah. real interesting. They got that really. That was really on cue there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you would love to, if it was basketball, you'd be in the front row. Like, come on. Uh, yeah. Well, so like, uh, there's a great movie. I forget what it is on Disney uh, about Giannis and his uh, uh, his <laughs> family. Are you a Disney kid or what? Everything is a Disney thing with you. I love Disney. Oh my god. Disney owns Marvel, bro. Oh my God! They own a lot How of good content. How many freaking Disney movies have you seen, well, man? This one was this this you know is recent you know, Jonas, uh, Giannis or Jonas, um, him and his brothers about hit about their like basketball and like they played in Greece and different places like that and their dad couldn't watch the game. He was outside pacing like while his Whoa. son's trying out because 
he knew if his son made it to the NBA, that mm-hmm. they'd be able to get them proper citizenship. So there's so much on the line. <laughs> I'm, sorry. Just, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I, I just had a vision in my head. I have one more scenario Spe- for you. We'll get to that in a second. Speaking of my son, yeah. I, I mentioned to you, um, I took him to the zoo recently. Really? Yeah. San Diego or LA? Uh, LA. Okay. And I got some pretty fun footage there. This is the line just to get into the zoo today. Wow. Oh, look at the meerkat, huh? Look at the meerkat. Hi, he's looking Hi, up at meerkat. the Hi, meerkat. Huh? Hi. Yeah. Dude. Wow. Look at all the flamingos, dude. Wow. These are crazy. It's a snake. Isn't that crazy? Right? Yeah. Hi, snake. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I know. Wow. Look at that turtle. <laughs> What do you think? Cuckoo! Uh, I did! you like the snake? Wow. See? There's a snake right there. <laughs> Well, Gerald, it looks like I found your family. I'm glad you came to live with us, though. Oh, looks like some self-care going on there. Some kissing, some back rub, and getting some stuff out of, uh, I don't know, what's he trying to get inside of that person's mouth? Okay, and getting some lice maybe off, gouging the eyes, that's not allowed. Yeah, this is a nice throuple. Welcome to Gerald Park. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gerald's cousin knows how to get down and dirty. Yum, yum, yum. Looking up that fork. Bark's got fire. Looks like you had a good time there. We did. We yeah. Did. <clears throat> so how about uh, how about my shout out to Gerald? Do you like that, Gerald? There you go. See, we yeah, always love you. I don't love we? that two there second shout out. Wow. So, um, your kids in high school, sophomore, and um, you notice him in the living room, but he's wearing just speedos. Why are all of these <laughs> scenarios? What would you do if your son was essentially? effeminate or gay these are all your scenarios steve what would you do jeremiah would it be so crazy of you to accept and love your son if he's more effeminate or or homosexual (laughs) it's fine my my thing man (laughs) and so on the patreon on patreon steve literally is like he did a whole scenario with me what would you do if i found cocaine with my son so up, check man. that out on patreon that's a whole we did a whole act out oh, of that's right if you want the bonus episode man <laughs> if you want a bonus whole different full bonus episode go to patreon.com slash bros and that's all i gotta say that's a commercial for the day okay cool and so he's looking like a tarzan and he goes <laughs> He goes, what do you think, Dad? And then do your normal response. What do you think, Dad? Uh, where are you going? I'm trying out for the diving team. Okay. 
Uh, so you give me lessons? Is there a basketball at the bottom of that pool? <laughs> and there you go, dude. <laughs> Punchline in. Hello, baby. There you go. go. Ryan, you said you have a, a question for us? Yep, we have a question from Hugh. Remember, everybody, if you have any questions, send them to scissorbrospod at gmail.com. This is Hugh. Hey, Jeremiah and Stevie Weeby. This is uh, Hugh from North Carolina again. I figure since my last question was uh, kind of a bummer, I'd try to ask one that's a little bit more fun. Uh, let's say that, you know, Jeremiah, your kids grow up. Stevie, you have children. They grow up. Would you want to see a, uh, a Scissor Bros podcast featuring them? And if so, uh, what would the format be? Thanks. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to go on a hard no on that. Gonna go on a hard no. Would not want my son to do a podcast with with Steve's uh, son or daughter in the future. Why not? Reason being, I hope my son is not in the entertainment space at all, bro. I hope he finds happiness in a different space, and he doesn't need he doesn't need to do that. Well, I don't even know if I I have strong enough sperm to even procreate. Oh, I think you do. I just know my son's gonna be like a little golem, <laughs> you know. Like just you got <laughs> dad. Stevie Rubens, my dad. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. yes. Stevie Rubens. You're way too good at that impression, and that scares me. <laughs> Stevie. Oh my god. Stevie did you Ruby. did you try out for Spiegel? Did I try out? For Smeagol and Lord of the Rings? Yeah. <laughs> no. Because that was pretty damn good. Andy Circus, shout out. Shout out to Andy. Okay, Master another of question? Craft. We don't have another question. We have a song submission from Mr. Igloo. H- how do you feel about... Would you, yeah, you would you want our kids to do a podcast together? Like to continue the legacy or something? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, he doesn't sound sold on it. I don't know. I have to, what I have if to you get... had a daughter and my son was dating your daughter? Where are you going? Would that be weird for you? Ooh, I just had a bad vision in my head. Ooh, that visual. What? Um, mixed, you know what? Mixed Watkins and Lee's babies. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. Wow. Hopefully, they wouldn't get my nose and your breath. Ooh, that's a bad combo. <laughs> <laughs> or my teeth. And my gums. Ooh, I got bad gums. Yeah. That's why I got to do the deep scalings. I would be happy, though. I know the kid would have a pink asshole. Healthy pink. So what was the song that you were going to play? <laughs> Sorry, this one comes from Mr. Igloo. Frugal Brothers Strike Again. Frugal Brothers Strike Again. Frugal Brothers Strike Again. Dude, that was amazing. Dude, I want to see that cartoon. That was that would be the theme theme song. Like in between the scenes, it's like Scooby Doo. Like we're running around the animation, and then we're like doing, yeah, Yeah. like a like a dance or something. Dude, thank you. That That was was freaking awesome. That was cool. That was cool. That was was really freaking cool. Yeah. That I was, love that. that Guys, keep one. sending in your music. We'll keep yeah. playing it. And your art and all, and your questions, scissorbrospot at gmail.com. They mm-hmm. also send us like the stems and stuff so we can yeah, have stem. sound clips or whatever, mm-hmm. any parts of the song. Yeah. 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 So we can sample any of it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys I think have we're, a challenge ready or something? Yeah, we got a challenge. And this is you guys came up with it? Uh-huh. I think it's going to be a fun one. Go ahead. Ryan did just... some research and uh, we talked over how the logistics from this one were going to work and... It's pretty fun. So, is it eating something? No, thank goodness. It's a pain one. <laughs> all right. So, this challenge is all about balls. We like balls. We thought of you when, when we came up. When with we came it. up yeah, with the challenge. Of course. All right. So, we have a table, 
with cups taped to the end of it. Your job is to roll one of these bouncy balls across the table into one of the cups. Looks like beer pong. No, no, no. Not bounce. Oh, I mean, you can bounce it. They're off the edge, though. They're not on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. So you roll it across the table into the cup. You guys will take turns. First person to get five points wins. However, each time you get a point, you get to shoot a koosh ball at the other opponent's balls. Okay? What, what the hell is a koosh ball? Right here. How hard is the thing? I mean... You'll feel it. You'll feel it, but it won't It won't bruise you. So are we naked? <laughs> No, we're not. No. That's how you would feel the impact. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Do you so, want to be naked? No. <laughs> first, first person to five <laughs> points wins. Dude, for our bonus Patreon episode, can we do? Can we replicate this? But we're both naked. I don't think you understand how Patreon works. Sometimes. <laughs> well, it's uncensored, baby. I know, but <laughs> there is a limit yeah. on Patreon. There's a limit? Yeah. Okay. And the punishment? Explain that part, Jeremiah? Or you want me to do it? You can explain it. Okay. For the punishment, it is very similar. The winner gets to shoot two of these koosh balls at the other person's balls from any distance they want. And the person that's getting shot has to have their eyes closed. So you never know oh, when I it's don't, coming. That's like the anticipation is, the anticipation yeah. is mm-hmm. bad. That's the worst part of it. Mm-hmm. Do we have to be holding our scrotum? I mean, that would be covering. Oh, you mean as an ex- exposed target? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. 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 It'll just be underneath the pants. We'll be all right. Are you sure? Should we at least get in our boxer shorts to kind of up the For ante? For the punishment? Just to up the ante? How hard are those things, though? It's hard. There's a hard center inside Yeah, there's a hard center. Thing. Yeah. Ryan. All right. Wow. All How right. are you that bad at throwing where you know knocked over equipment? I my phone, but that was over here. That's insane, bro. <laughs> How did you curve that? Steve curved it around and hit equipment somehow. All right. Baseball, baby. All right. Feel the go. dreams, balls, baby. Balls, balls. So we're going to rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Yep. Just one round of that. So it goes one. Two, you want to go one, two, three, shoot? Sure. One, okay. two, three, shoot. Yeah, ready? Ready? One, one two, two, three, shoot. <laughs> okay, I would like to go first. I know you do. <laughs> okay, here we go. We cannot cross this line at right all. here. At all. If you cross it at all, at all. it's you. that, that point is disqualified. Okay. We're playing to five points, and every point you get, you get a shoot. The ball at the other person. Yeah. Okay, ready? Can we do this, though? Instead what? of, like, taking a break and then shot, taking a break. Yeah, we can do it all at the end. Second, at the end. I love it. Okay, I love okay. it. Yes! Freaking... Yeah, dude! Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Zero. I don't think I need to be sanded. Okay, go ahead, Jeremiah. He's gonna whoop, dude. He's gonna have ball sports. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> one, one. All right. Are you taking. Don't take it, keep it score. It's fine. Oh! Oh my gosh! That was so close. Oh my gosh! So close. This is so fun. I know, right? This is a fun one. Yeah. Good one. How many rounds do we do? Uh, five. Oh! It's killing me. I'm close. Come on! Late. Very fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The first person to get five points. Oh frick! Oh my goodness! Yeah! 
us, baby! <laughs> Stevie slow roll over here. <laughs> Stevie slow roll. Okay. What are we at? Steve has, is up? Steve's up? Yep. Find a different technique! Steve slow roll. Steve slow roll! Dang it, dude. Hey, can you do that? You do okay. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Well, that was really just uh, reckless. Reckless? Yeah, you did a whole So freaking close. You can't fart during my <laughs> turn, dude! You can't fart during my turn, dude! <laughs> Damn, dude, that's disqualification, bro. No, bro. Yeah, bro. No. You can't fart during my <laughs> You didn't say dude, that I couldn't so fart on you. You did bro? not say that I couldn't fart oh on you during my the challenge. God. And you farted on me with your gassy fart. Here's your gassy ball. Where's my ball? It's right here. Right there. Came back. Oh, okay. Good. There you go. Oh. Oh, God. Gamer. He has four. And I have two. I'm going to four on you, man. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh! Get in oh, there! Oh man! Oh, did you get it? Yeah, did. Oh, these buddies catching up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Buzzer. Oh, so <laughs> what wait. I what so you now do? I get he gets to shoot me five times, five times, and then two, and with, then two with my eyes closed, and I get to shoot him four times. Yep, three times. You only got three points. Dang it! Just don't get my. Oh, dang it! One. Come on, Jeremiah. Make this count, dude. Make this count. Dude. Oh. That hurt? A little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dang it. That one would have been great. All right, it's my turn. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. First five, eyes open. Okay. Um, this is actually pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's the anticipation. Yeah, it's the anticipation. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> that was almost in the face, bro. Oh, I'm bro. sorry, man. Oh my goodness. Where'd it go? Yeah, I need, I need to put this down. Hmm? I got it. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, that's scary. God, these shots suck. I'm not good at slingshotting. Dude, I missed all three of mine. Oh. Oh, Jesus. You can also use your finger if you don't want to use the tape. Mm. Like, you know, like that. <laughs> what, what do you mean? 
Instead of using the, the thing, you just sling it off your finger like this. Oh, I can. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's way harder than we were doing with that. Do I have one more of these? I think it's only three, right? Yeah, you just yeah. did three. So you need a Oh, oh <laughs> so close! These yeah. are really hard, Steve. <laughs> These are hard. Okay, that was number four. I don't... The, the eyes... Oh, I got you! <laughs> I got you, man! I got that you, brother! Kill me on the thigh. So these are right. my two. Eyes closed. But I can go close. I can go wherever you I can want. Go wherever you want. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, Steve. Let him close his eyes first. Yeah, you have to close your eyes. You have to close, dude. On, man. You have to close your eyes. Come on. Why are you gonna do it? Don't block the camera. If you're gonna do it. <laughs> Steve. 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 Move to the side. Right here? Yeah, Steve, here. be kind to me, brother. <laughs> you're so close, you idiot. Dude, just you're so close. Clear your hands right there. Dude, dude. Just clear your hands. Dude, just Steve, just Steve come on, dude. What the frick, dude? Relax. I don't know. I love you. What are you doing, man? <laughs> you missed it, you idiot. <laughs> you hit me right here. Okay. Just get it over with, man. Just, yes, hold on. Okay, I'm putting it with you. I know how close you are. Right there. The movie hands are the side. And they're on the way off the side. <laughs> <laughs> Sudden death until one of us hits each other in the balls. Do you agree? No. No, on, I don't. Man. No. Come on. No, no, man. My, my nuts are they're real fragile. Hey, good, good show. Good show. Okay. Patreon.com slash Susan Bros for that bonus episode. You don't want to miss it, okay? Weekly. Daniel, Neil, 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 Neil. Okay. And we're going to take that sudden death, Steve. I had a rough week, Ryan. You know that. <laughs> I want to get into it. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> tuning in. <laughs>